when he rises, he goes back to his disciples. And he does it in a way that our world would not do. Jesus does not go back to the people that betrayed him and denied him and abandoned him and say, okay, it's payback time. It's not what he does. He goes back to those people and says, peace be with you. He delivers forgiveness and compassion and mercy and, yes, peace. Matthew's Gospel says there was an earthquake. The rising of Jesus has rocked our world. It's turned everything upside down. Why? Because Jesus has come to reform the world, to refashion it the way his Father had in mind. And you and I participate in that victory as the baptized, and we rejoice. I hope that when you go home today, you have a fabulous meal <laughs> with people that you love because we have every reason to celebrate on this Easter Sunday. And I hope that as you have that meal and enjoy each other's company, you remember who has called you together and why you are there. Jesus has conquered sin and death, and he has made us sharers in his victory. When we were baptized, he made us a promise that if you die with me in baptism, you will rise with me to everlasting life. We don't simply go home and make dinner reservations. We are people of the resurrection, and we have been called to his table, the banquet of eternal life.